Good evening, everyone. We did it. Last break of the night, 2017 Bowman Draft Baseball Jumbo Edition. A four-box, half-case break, random team break, number four from jazbeeshobbyland.com. We have more, so we'll check it out. Check out the website. Here are all the players involved in this break. Thank you. And let's get the teams in here. All right, and we... Uh, combo some teams, right? Orioles and Cubs are comboed. And we say the Cardinals and Nationals are comboed. All right. Rolling the dice. We're going to randomize each list. TJ guessing four, Jordan Hope guessing, f TJ guessing six, Jordan Hope guessing four. And it's eight, six and a two, eight times for each list. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Jordan Hope down to Lee Keller. And then eight times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. Reds down to, the red legs down to the Royals. Uh, Didi will be posting more tonight. We'll be breaking more of this tomorrow. This is the last break of our night though. All right, so Jordan with the Reds. Arthur with the Diamondbacks. There you go, Arthur, Diamondbacks. Alfonso, Blue Jays. Mark with the Giants. Darren with the Angels. Marty with the uh, Tigers. TJP with my Dodgers. Big Boys 007, Oakland A's, Jordan with the Mariners. There you go, you got the Mariners. Mike Coons, combo. Uh, Cardinals and Nationals. Bruce, combo. Orioles and Cubs. Braves for Mike Coons. TJP with the Pirates. Lee with the Indians. Josh Pruce with the Marlins. Ryan with the White Sox. TJ with the Tigers. Rick, you got the Brewers. Bruce with the Rockies. Brian with the Padres. TJP with uh, your last spot, Mojo, Phillies. Jordan with the Mets, Mark with the Rays, Lee with the Astros, Colin with the Twins, TJP with the Red Sox and Yankees, a little rivalry mojo, and Lee Keller with the Royals. Let's sort by team. Let's alphabetize. And Lee is looking for a trade. Lee Keller is looking for a trade for the Rays or the Padres. So if that interests anybody, give them a shout. And this is the second half of the case. We already have the boxes ready to go. See, marked RT4, so you know they're from the same case. And I will post more of this uh, after the broadcast tonight, jazbeeshobbyland.com. I know, Arthur, the pressure is on. I got your diamond bags for you. This has been pretty great. Draft has been pretty great. And I, I like this half case break. Um, you know, instead of like an hour long break, it's a nice like 30 minute, you know, 30 minute chunks, which I like. Oh, that, yeah, that's Kevin's dad. <laughs> but I don't know. I, I, I don't know if he's allowed to speak for him in terms of in terms of uh, trading. Well, I'll just have to get you hits, TJ. TJ's like, oh, man, he stuck around for two hours just to get the Tigers. Well, I'll just, I'll just have to pull you hits out of here, TJ. That's the only way it'll get. It'll be better. Lee says Astros for Padres. But other than that, unless that, do, unless that doesn't go through, uh, trade window closed. <clears throat> Unless that Astros Padres deal goes through. Let's at least get the packs out of here while we're waiting on that last minute possibility. Otherwise, we'll just have to go. Oh! Look at this. Should I open that now or should I save that till the end of the break?
Arthur wants me to save it till the end. All right. Well, Kevin, do you have do you have power of attorney or do you not? We got otherwise we got to go. There's random team 4. Once I open that first pack, it is a deal. All right. Get in trouble with dad, Kevin. It's not my fault. All right, so there you go. There's the list. There's the break. Trade window officially closed now. And here we go. Good luck. Actually, let me change that into spreadsheet really quick, too, for when I print out labels. So Padres Astros trade confirmed. And here we go. Good luck, everybody. Right, here we go. So I'm going to breeze through this paper that's not going to ship. Everyone has seen that. But all this chrome stuff will ship. These refractors are not numbered. So that's why I'm going to breeze by those as well. But obviously anything serial numbered I'll slow down on. some paper right here. And our first autograph is a Marlin, Colton Hawk, green chrome. That goes to TJP. No, Josh Proust. Sorry, your names are right next to each other. Josh Proust. Ten out of ninety nine for Josh. I think I went through these already. All right, there we go. And there's Delvin Perez for the Cardinals, seventy one out of two hundred. There's your set, uh, Bowman seventieth, Chrome. There's purple paper, purple paper paper eaters, 23 out of 250 for the Phillies. That'll be for TJP with Last Bot Mojo. And Mackenzie Gore, there it is. That's what Lee was looking for from the Padres. That goes to Lee Keller, drawing first blood in the first box in the trade. Not numbered though.
We got Dylan Tate. Oh, that's right. He's a, he's a Yankee. 45 out of 399. He was a Ranger. He's from UC Santa Barbara. I think he was one of the first first rounders out of the UC Santa Barbara baseball program, from what I remember. We got Logan Warmoth, 60 out of 150. Blue paper for the Blue Jays. That'll go to Alfonso. And this little final stack here. There's Kevin Merrill. Kevin Merrill for the Oakland A's. That'll go to David Harrell. Harrell with the Merrill. We got TJ Friedel for the Reds, 39 out of 50. That card is gold for Jordan Hope. And that's the first box, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna save that box topper towards the end. I don't know what these are. Are they autographed? How, how are they? They're not one per case, I don't think. They might be autoed, okay. It's not a special design, it's just a large version of a card, his Bruce. All right, fair enough. I did not know that either. I was very surprised when I saw that. <laughs> When I opened that box, I was like, wait, what? Arthur's saying they do have different designs. Oh, I see. I don't remember box toppers at all in the previous years. Were there box toppers in previous years? through these paper that won't ship. These will ship. Oh, there's some purple paper right here. Indians, Juan Hillman out of 250. That'll go to the tribe, Lee Keller. Regicidal with the Juan Hillman. And Dylan Busby, blue chrome autograph. A lot more color autographs in this side. TJP with that one. 97 out of 150. 
on that. That's our first autograph. We'll set that right there so we can keep track of the autographs in the box. And there's Sam Carlson to 150, 69 out of 150 for the Mariners. That'll be for Jordan. And there's Jordan Sheffield, Justice Sheffield's brother. TJ saying that he'll that Jordan Sheffield should be playing in Tulsa for the Dodgers double A team this season where TJ works. Let's see what else we have here. Jose Tavares out of 499. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Sorry about that. My void losing my voice. I'll blame the fires. <coughs> Excuse me, Desmond Lindsay. <coughs> All right, uh, got a cough drop here, so that, that should help. Desmond Lindsay at a 250 for the Mets, Jordan Hope. I know I gotta finish this break before I fall over and die. I'll make it, folks. I'll make it. And look at this. For the Astros. Forrest Whitley, printing plate. Brian Crouch, getting the Astros in a trade. All aboard the, come on, let me see this, a big hit express. Woo woo! Forrest Whitley, one of the big prospects uh, for the Astros coming up the ranks. So I guess it kind of kind of evens out there. And another Astro, J.J. Matajevich. Matajevich? Matajevich? Matajevich. I'm going to go Yevich with that. That's a Crouch, Team Crouch with the Astros. We should be expecting one more autograph. There's Carter Kaiboom out of 399. Can he hit for power? Because if he does, you know, you can imagine a lot of announcers being like, Kaiboom! Gone! Nationals with that one. That's the Cardinals Nationals combo. Mike Koontz with that. And Morgan Cooper for my Dodgers.
Dod who has my Dodgers? TJ Poyer with the orange Morgan Cooper. That's out of 25. 18 out of 25. You know, I actually don't know much about this guy. Uh, TJ, TJ might. TJ, do you know anything about this guy? He was drafted, well, he was drafted this year. Second round, 62nd overall. Third team, All-America, 6-3. He's a college player, so he might be 11.1 Ks per nine. It's pretty good. Four pitches that rate above average. That's pretty good. And already already knocked out the Tommy John, so he's good. See? Knocked out the Tommy John. He's fine. And uh, if he's out of college, that also tends to tends to mean that you know uh, that you you might see him in the majors a little bit sooner than the high school kids. The kids out of high school takes them a little bit longer. All right. Two more boxes to go. Correct, he is a pitcher, DD. All right, good luck. Yeah, we haven't seen that guy yet, right? Auto autograph wise, Paven Smith for the Diamondbacks. make some space for myself here. So halfway through the break, second half of the break about to start, and we got that mysterious box topper right here, which could yield some, uh, some, some monster. Good luck. Noah Bremer for the Rangers at a 399. Uh, that goes to Marty with the Rangers. And David Peterson is your Mets autograph. Jordan Hope with the Mets. Regis, I don't might want to buy this off of you. He's a big Mets guy. There you go, Drew. Uh, <coughs> Drew Peterson, that is. Excuse me. There's Justice Sheffield, Jordan's brother. Breeze this paper. There's Ludus Guriel Jr. out of 499. That's Yuli's brother. Blue Jays, that goes to Alfonso.
Cal Quantrill, Paul's kid, 21 out of 399 for the Padres. That's one for Lee. The rest is just paper. And Jeter Downs for the Reds. That's a strong one. That goes to Jordan Hope. One oh seven out of four ninety nine. Your thirty second overall pick for the Reds. Nice. That's our second auto right there. Anderson Tejada. Out of 499 for the Rangers, Marty. Oh, does, does Lourdes have the same haircut as Yuli? That's what Bruce was saying. And Dal Lugo. 187 out of 200, that is for TJ. OG TJ. There you go. Try to find some ink for you in here too. Like the Blue Jays have like some like they're they're getting like the family member kind of thing. You know what I mean? They got Bo Bichette, Dante's kid. They got Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Right? They've got Yuli Yuli Gurriel's uh, brother. So they're, they're going family pedigree. Blue paper for the Brew Crew. 18 out of 150, Keston Huria. Hura. And Lee says they have one other one too. Looking for one more autograph. We've got two. Oh, there it is. Caden Lemons. Caden Lemons. That is for the Brewers. Rick with the Brew Crew. Nice. So you got the autograph and you got the Keston. Nice. When, when life gives you lemons. Okay, so those are our autographs in the box, unless there's a bonus auto hiding in there somewhere. Man, what is this? Is that an autograph? Royce Lewis. You can barely see that. But I think that's an auto. It kind of doesn't look like it, actually. Oh, it's not a real. Yeah, I was looking at this. I was looking at this close. It's like that's not a real auto. It's a super short print, though. Yeah. So there it is. That's pretty strong. So it's a facsimile, as they call it in the industry. Um, yeah, Bruce got it. Uh, let's see. Who are the twins? Colin Matoy. There you go, Colin.
Right, yeah, right. It would it would have top certified autograph issue. All right. I got fooled there for a second. Not too often, not too often you see those facsimile autographs. All right. Last box. Good luck everybody. So three more autographs out of here, plus uh, any number of potential parallels. We have seen boxes before with four autographs, so we could have a bonus auto in this guy. You never know. So good luck to everybody. Thanks for staying up late with me. I guess we're only, we're only 10 minutes over our usual, so. This should be done in another five minutes. We're in, we're in good shape. So thanks everyone for staying up late. Appreciate it. Good luck. We got Fernando Tatis Jr. 15 out of 250. His dad, I believe, has the distinction for ten, Fernando Tatis, has the distinction of hitting two grand slams in one inning off of uh, Chan Ho Park, the Dodgers, back in the day. Trivia. Trivia of the day. He may be the only player to have had two grand slams in one inning off one pitcher. Franklin Kilome, uh, 127 out of uh, 399. That goes to the Phillies. That goes to TJP, Last Spot Mojo. Was it opening day? I don't remember it being opening day, but, but yeah, I guess maybe it was. I, I remember it was early in the season. Yeah, two Grand Slams in one inning is pretty legendary. I mean, at that point, when you give up one Grand Slam in an inning and you're already down by that many runs, you don't want to blow out the bullpen. So they, I think they let him pitch. They let him keep going. And then he loaded the bases again right when Tatis was coming up again. And at that point, you think, what are the odds of this guy going yard again? <laughs> there he is again. Well, he did. Oh, I see something shimmering back there. Look at that. For the Brew Crew, Tristan Lutz. Gold, shimmer, or wave, whatever they call it these days. Gold wave, I think. Nice. That is out of 50. 36 out of 50. For the Brew Crew, Rick. There you go, Rick. Yeah, Regicidal saying that's a real good one there. Scott Hurst out of 499 for the Cardinals, Nationals combo, Mike Kuntz. Hey, there's Rick. Look at this. Wow. Austin Beck. Insert autograph. 34 out of 50. Nice. Class of 2017. Who's got the A's in this one? Big Boys, 007. Nice one, Dave. Yeah, Rick, I think there was a there was another couple auto another auto earlier. And that Keston insert. It's a nice break for the Brewers. Not too bad for 20 bucks. 
His autograph was that small in the other one that we pulled for, I think TJ had, had him. He, he needs to use the entire canvas right there. Austin, if you're listening, feel free to use the entire canvas. Although that's a good auto for stickers. <laughs> Kai, boom! There it is, 132 out of 250. Boom! Nationals, Mike Koontz. You know, that might, that might indicate a bonus auto. We'll, we'll see. Recommended viewing. Oh, that is numbered. Nice. 113 out of 250 for the Padres. Mackenzie Gore and Luis Campusano. Going to Lee. Uh, they boosted their battery power. Get it? That's too good. Because they're battery mates. I see what they did there. Nice one, Bowman. No, maybe not a bonus auto. Green paper for the Brew Crew and Rick. 58 out of 99, Freddy Peralta. Nice. There you go. No, no regrets for staying up late, Rick. And Blake Hunt is your other Padres autograph for Lee. <coughs> Excuse me. Second round pick. I think that trade even out okay, right? Printing plate of a player that's pretty close to being in the majors pretty much, and then an auto for the Astros, and then the auto that Lee wanted, the uh, high round draft pick, and then an extra Blake Hunt right there. Ooh, sometimes it works out that nicely. Joseph, 66 out of 99 for the Marlins. That'll go to Josh Pruce. And no, no bonus auto. Sometimes when there's insert autos, it's, there's a bonus auto, but not this time. All right, that's fine because we still have this box topper. What if that's an auto? Let's see, folks. Good luck. Good luck, everyone. It's not autographed, but it's Jake Berger. 11th overall pick for the White Sox. Who has the White Sox in this? Royal for Speed, Ryan. And it's numbered as well, 42 out of 99. Nice. Nice. Very cool, and there you have it, folks. That's it, that was the second half of the case. We'll be posting another one on jazbeeshobbyland.com, and I'm sure we'll do, so that's right, mmm, burger. Uh, I'm sure we'll be doing some more of this uh, tomorrow, because it's really nice, and it's only 20 bucks a spot for a random team. So thanks very much, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. Have a great night, bye-bye. That's not my mouse. This is a mouse right here. <laughs>